at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today we are going to study few more topics of Laplace transform. So let's begin with the first topic that is unit step function. It is also known as heavy side function. Okay, so let's define unit step function. It is uh, defined as u t minus a that is 0 and 1 for t less than a and for t greater than a. Okay, so here it is shown in the graph for t less than a it is 0. So here we have this. Okay, and for t greater than a it is 1. So here we have a line. Okay, now uh, let's find the Laplace transform of a unit step function. Okay, so unit step function u t minus a is what it is 0 and 1 for t less than a and 1 for t greater than a. Okay, now we have to find the Laplace transform of u t minus a. Okay, now the main definition formula is what integration 0 to infinite e raised to minus st f t dt. Okay, in place of f t we have u t minus a dt. Now, uh, this u t minus a function is defined in this way that is for t less than a it is 0 and for t greater than a it is 1. Okay, so this integration will split into two parts that is 0 to a and a to infinite. Okay, so 0 to a. Now in this interval we have answer 0 okay and in this interval that is a to infinite the uh, value of function is 1. Right, now we have to just integrate it. So, integration of e raised to minus st is what e raised to minus st upon minus s and the limits are a to infinite, okay. Now, uh, we will bring this minus 1 upon s outside, okay. e raised to minus infinite will give you 0 and here in place of t we have to substitute a. So, you will get minus e raised to minus a s, right. Simplify this. So, final answer is what e raised to minus a s upon s. So, Laplace transform of u t minus a is what e raised to minus a s upon s. Okay. Now, next one. Uh, second shifting theorem. Okay. So, if Laplace transform of f t is equal to f s, then Laplace transform of f t minus a u t minus a is e raised to minus a s f s. Okay, now let's see its proof. So, we have to find the Laplace transform of this term. Okay, we know from the definition that Laplace transform of ft is what integration 0 to infinite e raised to minus st ft dt. Okay, now here we have ft, so here we are writing ft, so here we have ft minus a ut minus a, so it is ft minus a ut minus a. Now, we know that this unit step function u t minus a is what it is 0 for t less than a and 1 for t greater than a. Okay. So, f t minus a u t minus a will be what here 0 and here in place of 1 we have f t minus a. Okay. Condition will remain same. Now, we will find the Laplace transform. So, Laplace transform of f t minus a u t minus a is what in the interval 0 to a its answer is 0. From a to infinite its answer is f of t minus a. Okay. So, here we have e raised to minus s t. In place of this, now we will have only f t minus a in this interval. Correct? Now, what we will do? We will substitute t minus a is equal to u. Okay. So, t is what? a plus u. So, dt will be what? du. Okay. Now, as we are changing the variable, we will change the limit also. So, when t is equal to a, okay. So, in place of t, substitute a over here. So, you will get u is equal to 0 and when t is equal to infinite, you will get u infinite. Right? Now, we will substitute this limit in the integration. So, you will get integration new limit is 0 to infinite. Okay. e raised to minus in place of t, we will write a plus u. So, here we have a plus u and here we have f of u du. Okay. Now, uh, in this integration depends on u. So, e raised to minus s a is constant. So, we will take it outside and here we have integration 0 to infinite. e raised to minus s u f u d u. Okay. So, now this we can write as f of s. Okay. Now, here it is just in the variable u. We know this formula same in the variable of t. Okay. So, we can write it as f s. So, from this we can say that Laplace transform of f t minus a u t minus a is what? e raised to minus a s into f s. Okay, this is important formula you have to remember. Now, uh, let's solve example. So, we have to find e raised to minus 3 t u t minus 2. 
okay so we have to find laplace transform of e raised to minus 3t u t minus 2 now we have the formula that laplace transform of f t minus a u t minus a is what e raised to minus a s f s okay this is the formula so we will apply this formula to solve this uh, laplace transform okay now here we have t minus 2 okay so we have this form t minus a so we need this form f in the function f t okay so what we will do here take minus 3 as it is now in place of t we want t minus 2 so firstly we will write now t minus 2 okay uh, and to uh, match this term what we'll do we'll add it okay so this no, thing will remain as it is correct and this u t minus 2 as it is now uh, this minus 3 into this plus 2 it will give you e raised to minus 6 okay so from this we will get e raised to minus 6 and e raised to minus 3 t minus 2 u t minus 2 okay we are doing this procedure to get this type of uh, format okay now this is a constant we will take it outside so e raised to minus 6 laplace transform of e raised to minus 3 t minus 2 u t minus 2 okay now just compare with this so f t minus a u t minus a it is what e raised to minus a s okay now here a is 2 so we have e raised to minus 2 s into f s f s means what f s is what laplace transform of f t okay and from this what is lap f t it is e raised to minus 3 t okay so laplace transform of e raised to minus 3 t it is what 1 upon s plus 3 correct so in place of f s what we will write 1 upon s plus 3 so this is the final answer of e laplace transform of e raised to minus 3 t u t minus 2 okay now let's solve one more example so we have to find laplace transform of t square u t minus 2 okay now again in place of t we need t minus 2 so what we will do just write down t minus 2 plus 2 whole square okay u t minus 2 now just consider this as a and consider this as b okay and we'll apply a plus b whole square formula so what you will get a square that is t minus 2 whole square okay and we'll multiply this u uh, t minus 2 together okay now plus 2 a b okay so 2 into 2 so here we'll get 4 okay and here t minus 2 u t minus 2 plus b square means 4 okay so 4 u t minus 2 this is the term now now we'll apply this formula that is Laplace transform of f t minus a u t minus a is what e raised to minus a s f s okay we'll use this formula again right again a is what uh, 2 right so we'll get e raised to minus 2 s into Laplace transform of t square okay from this f t is what t square plus 4 as it is now from this we'll get e raised to minus 2s into Laplace transform of from here we'll get only t okay and 4 now we know Laplace transform of ut minus a is what e raised to minus a s upon s correct so we'll use this formula so e raised to minus 2s upon s correct now just simplify this so Laplace transform of t square is what 2 factorial upon s cube okay plus 4 e raised to minus 2s laplace transform of t is what 1 upon s square and here 4 e raised to minus 2s upon s okay if you want to simplify you can take this e raised to minus 2s common so 2 upon s cube plus 4 upon s square plus 4 upon s okay so this is the final answer now let's discuss one more topic that is direct delta function okay now direct delta function is defined as delta t minus a is what limit epsilon tends to 0 ft where this ft is what 
it is zero one upon epsilon and zero. The in it is zero and t is less than a one upon epsilon between a to a plus epsilon and zero for t greater than a plus epsilon. Okay, so in this way, a direct delta function is defined. Okay, it is shown here in the graph that is for t less than a, it is zero for t greater than a plus epsilon, it is zero and in between a to a, a plus epsilon, its answer is one upon epsilon. Correct. Now. Let's find the Laplace transform of direct delta function. Okay, so we have to find Laplace transform of delta t minus a. So main formula is what integration 0 to infinite e raised to minus st delta t minus a. Now delta t minus a is what it is limit epsilon tends to 0 ft. Okay, ft dt. Now we know that this function ft is what it is 0, 1 upon epsilon and 0 for t less than a for a to a plus epsilon, okay, and it for t greater than a plus epsilon. This is the function ft, okay. So from this, uh, we'll get only this interval and in this interval, answer of ft is what 1 upon epsilon. So this is limit epsilon tends to 0 here from a to a plus epsilon e raised to minus st okay and ft is what 1 upon epsilon dt right we'll take this 1 upon epsilon outside okay and integration of e raised to minus st is what e raised to minus st upon minus s and the limits are a to a plus epsilon okay now we'll bring this minus 1 upon s outside okay limit epsilon tends to 0 1 upon epsilon right and now e raised to minus s a plus epsilon okay minus e raised to minus s a in place of t we have to substitute firstly a plus epsilon and then a okay now uh, here limit depends on epsilon so this e raised to minus s a is constant okay so what we will do we will take this e raised to minus s a outside okay and limit epsilon tends to 0 here we have e raised to minus s epsilon minus 1 upon epsilon we have this form okay from here i have taken this e raised to minus s a outside and from this term also so here we have minus 1 and here we have only e raised to minus s epsilon okay now uh, if you will substitute epsilon equal to 0 over here, okay, so e raised to 0, it will give you 1, 1 minus 1 upon 0. So, this is the 0 by 0 form, okay. So, this is indeterminate form and we know how to solve the indeterminate form, okay. We have to uh, write down the derivative of numerator and denominator separately and then we'll apply limit. So, this minus 1 upon s e raised to minus s a as it is, okay. Now, uh, we have to take derivative with respect to epsilon. Okay, so what you will get your limit epsilon tends to as it is e raised to minus s epsilon into minus s because we are taking derivative with respect to epsilon. Okay, this derivative of minus 1 is 0 and derivative of epsilon is 1. Now, we can substitute the limit. Okay, so e, uh, e raised to 0, it will give you 1. This ss will get cancelled and this minus minus will become plus. So, final answer is e raised to minus sm. Okay, so the Laplace transform of direct delta function is what? e raised to minus sm. Clear? So, I hope you have understood throughout the session. Thank you for watching.